In other news now, three El Paso businesses were burglarized. The alleged thief cutting holes in the walls of the businesses to get through. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap has this story you will only see on 9. This sushi business had to close today because the owner and the chef says that someone broke in, took his knives that he uses to cut sushi to actually cut a hole through their wall to get to a business that's two doors down. I noticed right away that they ripped out our register and took the money inside of it. I noticed that they broke in through our back door and they proceeded to use my sushi knives to cut a hole into the wall. So they could steal something, I guess, two doors down at the coin store. Guillermo de Santiago, the part owner and chef at Sushi Bomb, says his knives are important to him, as one was a gift from his family. I thought he stole it, but he was using it, which even made me feel even worse. So it's just, I'm grateful to have them back. I'm sad they're damaged. The burglar made two holes in the sushi restaurant's wall, the other in the bathroom, where the burglar cut through a pipe. The restaurant having to close all day Wednesday because of that pipe. It was a little bit embarrassing. You know, we had to tell them, hey, we got a hole in our wall. Like, you know, it, it's not a good situation. But at the same time, I talked to each and every individual that came to us that wanted to buy, and I, I made sure I let them know that, hey, we are going to be open. We're not going to let this stop us. Here you can see in this surveillance video shared with us from the coin shop owner that shows the burglar in the store. The owner surprised when he arrived to see the outside of his store untouched as the burglar came through the hole in the wall. Come in and, and take, the, take my, uh, my uh, silver. The El Paso Police Department says no arrests have been made, but the owners of this restaurant are hopeful that they'll be able to reopen tomorrow. Reporting from East El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.